Hi, I'm Kubert Shirazi. I'm a program manager at Acquia, and I'm here at Drupal Camp London in its fifth year. And I am presenting this year again, which is awesome. So I'm doing a session on empathy-driven content strategy. So uh, content's evolved. Uh, a lot of people within the community need to know where it's going, so we usually have our head down in delivery. And occasionally we forget to inform our customers and clients and ourselves in terms of how content development, content consumption has evolved. So I'll be sharing a few tools with the community that I've been researching over the years, including empathy maps, uh, sentiment analysis, touchpoint analysis, emotional intelligence, and I want to briefly touch upon the topic of alternative facts. So this is my fifth year. Uh, it is Drupal Camps, Camp London's fifth year as well. So this is my home camp. So I'm here uh, year in, year out. I'd like to think of myself as part of the furniture here. Uh, it's the, the, the attraction for me of Drupal Camp London really is we are, obviously London is the center of the universe and hence everyone does aggregate or evolve around London. So for instance, today I've met community members from Egypt, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, in London, and they've traveled from their respective countries to be here. So it's an amazing opportunity outside of conferences to meet and get the community's perspective, not just from you know, Great Britain, but from across the world, from wherever people are from, mainland Europe, from, you know, way, way far further than mainland Europe. Uh, one of the exercises I'm doing, uh, not running above, off, but it's a bit of an exercise. I've got an empathy map up on the wall, uh, not too far from us where we are right now. And I'm trying to get the community's perspective on Drupal 8. So I've been asking community members from far-flung places on what they're hearing in their ecosystems about Drupal 8, what they're observing, how's it making them think and feel, how's that impacting their behavior, how are they in turn impacting the behavior of their customers towards Drupal 8. So I'm quite excited to, to find out what I get at the end of the two days on the empathy map. Already there's some really interesting material there and the idea is to then open that up to the community and say, hey, uh, we did this exercise in London and this is what the community thinks.